Hey, what's going on guys? Logic here with a different type of video. And I think you're gonna like this. The definitive, the definitive weapon, weapon tier, tier list, list of, of season, season one. one. That's right, you heard right. The definitive weapon tier list of season one. I've made it, I've done it, the results are final, and they're done. Season one is coming to a close in just about six or five days. It depends on when I actually get to upload this video, but I've made a tier list that represented my personal thoughts on the ranking of each and every gum weapon. This is strictly for Battle Royale, so keep that in mind. These rankings probably won't change too much in season two, but I do believe the boards will be pretty good at launch, probably S or A tier. That's just speculation though, so who knows? But enough about that, let's talk about this list. Okay, let's start off with S tier. As you can see, I have both the Shinobi Spinner and the Ninja Yo-Yo in S tier. This is no mistake. These weapons are one of the few weapons that can interrupt a parry clash with incredible range, which puts it high on my tier list for that reason alone. The yo-yo and spinner don't have to wait for an opportunity, they make their own. Also, the yo-yo leap special is incredible, versatile, and lethal. The yo-yo earns its spot as S tier for Battle Royale. Next is the Epon Katana. I think we all know why this one is at the top. As long as you're able to use wall shooter and bind ninjas with one gum launcher shot, this will forever be S tier. It's too good, especially with the Epon Katana's kit. You can close distance so much faster than any other class with Charging Slash. If this combo ever gets nerfed, Epon Katana goes to B tier. But until then, the Epon Katana earns its slot on S tier. Let's move on to A tier. Still good weapons, just not super duper dominating. Skate and Sushi Hammer both excel at smashing opponents and drones. They don't take no for an answer. I put the hammers in A tier mainly because they are still good and can get the edge in most situations, but hammer bros struggle with opponents that run away. And while sometimes you can catch up to them, most of the time they are able to outrun you. That doesn't take away from the beefy special to be able to break an opponent's weapon while also getting armor. No other weapon can do that in the game and it makes the hammers worthy of A tier. The next weapon up is the Trick Ball, one of my favorites, so I might just be a little biased. I apologize. The Trick Ball's Gum Ninjutsu Fujiyama Rocket is incredible, and you can almost always guarantee a multi epon with it. It destroys the competition and almost always guarantees you epon master. The special ability to be able to change your opponent into poop is good. They can't do anything but run away. And just like the yo-yo, you're able to use your special inside a parry struggle, which is incredibly resourceful in all situations. The trick ball earns its spot in the A rank with all these perks. Let's get on to B tier, some of my favorites. First up is the Drill Beast. The stopping power of Punishing Blade is uncomparable. That is one thing that is true, but it has one gaping flaw. If you're hit while in this state, you are completely powerless. You can't S burst, you can't do anything, you just have to eat a full combo. The special here and there is a good way to get out of a sticky situation or sneak the last hit in on a drone. So many uses and utilities. The Drill Beast, while annoying, isn't unbeatable and it fits just right in the B tier. One of my favorites is up next, the Scroll Blade. The Scroll Blade pretty much has the same kit as the Epon Katana, except the Gum Ninjutsu and the Gum Shot. I would have put the Scroll Blade higher before the recent update, but the Kunai's tracking seems to be worse now. Not all the Kunai's usually hit now, and it's a real shame. The Kunai into Break Attack combo was clutch and caught a lot of people off guard. Mixer isn't as great as it used to be, but it's great for grabbing drones or dealing with opponents caught in a parry struggle. Charging Slash will always be a good ability and a way to get in on your opponents. All these skills combined, the Scroll Blade gets its B tier ranking. Up next for the B tier is the Corn Bat, another one of my favorites, and one I started off using at the release of Ninjala. It's not too different from the Drill Beast, instead offering Dragon Lord Gum Ninjutsu and Gum Launcher for the Gum Shot. I think the Dragon Lord is a really good Gum Ninjutsu, mainly because it heals you when you use it, has good tracking, and comes back super fast more so than the other supers in the game. You could also use the wall shooter gum launcher combo with the corn bat, but it doesn't work as effectively because the corn bat can't close distance as fast as the Epon Katana. And that's why the corn bat gets its spot in B tier. Next up is C tier. I'll go over both these weapons at once just to make it easier. Iron Noise and Drum Beat. Both are good weapons. Don't get me wrong for putting them so low in the ranking, but 
I feel like for Battle Royale, these weapons take too much time to set up. And I do know they sped up the process in the recent update, but it still feels too slow for Battle Royale. By the time you've set up your echoing scream, someone has come to the third party you and get you and the person you are after. The sound hammers still excel at grabbing drones and keeping opponents off them, and that could prove handy in the right situations. The sound hammers, while still beefy, and creative weapons earn their spot in C tier. Last is our D tier. The only one I put here was our Melo a la mode. The weapon can shine, don't get me wrong, but you have to work so much harder using this versus the trick ball. The gum shot, gum searcher is the only gum shot in the game that doesn't bind. You're at a disadvantage at all times because of that. Tenchi Muyo is a redeeming gum ninjutsu, but it doesn't completely make up for the fact that this weapon just needs something more to put it in league with the other weapons. The Melo respectively earns its spot in D tier. Well, that brings this tier listing to an end. It was a lot to go through, but remember, these are just my thoughts and opinions and nothing more. I'm just one guy. What do you guys think about the list? What would you put in S tier? Do you think I'm sleeping on the mellow? Tell me down in the comments below. I want to know your thoughts on the matter. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today as it was really fun to make and put together. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you enjoy the content, consider subscribing as it helps your boy a ton. Once again, thank you for watching. This has been Logic and I will see you in the next chapter. Hey, if you guys enjoy the content, consider joining the Discord. We have a growing community and we would love to talk and chat more often. It'd be really fun. Also, check out the other social links in the description below, like Twitter, Instagram, stuff like that, if you just want to get to know more about me. I also do streams on Twitch and we would love to have you guys over there. Check it out sometime as well. It's very fun and very exciting and we have some pretty good moments. And once again, those links will be in the description below. Thank you again for your support. And once again, you guys are awesome. I will see you in the next chapter.